Every believer has a voice, and it's the voice of victory. My God has made a way for me. Hello, everybody. This is the Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast, and we're beginning a very important year. It's, in, it's very important concerning COVID-19. Now, the reason that's called uh, coronavirus-19 is because that's when it was identified. It was in 2019. But up until now, the vaccines for that have been experimental. And I have heard it reported, and it came from a um, very reliable source, that the, tr the test and trials to that vaccine will finally be over and, will, and it will finally come to the place where it will be absolutely safe to receive it sometime later on this year. So we're going to believe God for that this year. Glory to God. God. Hallelujah. Amen. And where it, get it down to where it's, it's, it's no longer experimental. Yes. Father, we thank you for that. Glory yes, to Lord. God forever. Thank you. Yes. In the name of Jesus. But the best thing, glory to God, is don't get sick with it in the first place. <laughs> Amen. 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 So now let's go over to the Gospel of John where the great commandment was given, the 13th chapter. And this is in the last Seder meal, the final meal of the first covenant. It's written in the New Testament, but it's, in, it's recorded here. And it happened, it was the final uh, covenant meal before Jesus would go to the cross and go to hell for three days and three nights and be raised from the dead. And then the new commandment of love became our commandment. Now let's go there. 13th chapter of John. Now let's go back up. Uh, Verse 23, now there was leaning on Jesus' bosom one of his disciples whom Jesus loved. So this is John himself. Simon Peter therefore beckoned to him that he should ask who it would be of whom he spoke. He then lying on Jesus' breath saith unto him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, he it is to whom I shall give a sop or a morsel when I have dipped it. And when he had dipped the sop, he gave it to Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon. And after the sop, Satan entered into him. Then said Jesus unto him, uh, what you do, do quickly. Now let's talk about this a moment. Judas Iscariot was Jesus' treasurer. Now, this does away with the idea that Jesus was poor and all of his disciples were poor. No, none of them were poor when, when, he, when he picked them. None of them. They were all wealthy men. And a poor man doesn't need a treasurer. So, but we know the scripture says he was a thief. More than once, it was a thief. In fact, you remember when the woman broke the alabaster box and the perfume filled the, filled the room? And, and Judah said, what a waste is this? This could have been sold and the money given to the poor. And the scripture said he cared nothing for the poor. He was a thief. Yeah. So now we know, and, and he he left the room, Satan entered into him. I'm convinced that he was, that he was convinced that since they were not able to take Jesus, he would just hide himself. You remember what happened at Nazareth? They were going to push him off a cliff. He just, 
In fact, I was on the treadmill this morning. I was watching Glory on Healing School, and, and she talked about that. He hid himself and just walked through it. I'm convinced Judas thought he would do that because, after all, he is going to set up the new kingdom and take over, and Rome's going to be kicked out. And so then he took a bribe. Well, if you want to know what kind of sin that is, you go over to the law, and it's a death sentence sin. And it just, bribery is just terrible. It still is today. But he took a bribe of 30 pieces of silver to betray him and to kiss him. Hmm. Well, now, Jesus had to get him out of that room before he could give forth the new commandment. He got him out. Now, remember, Jesus washed his feet that night. Jesus kept giving him every opportunity to repent. He called him friend. He still didn't repent. And then, after it turned out like it did, instead of coming back and repenting for what he had done, He killed himself. He hung himself on a tree that broke off and he fell down into the rocks and he burst open. Now, Kelly made the observation that if he just kept his mouth shut and just stayed with it until Jesus was raised from the dead, he could have had the new birth and it would have all been wiped out. That's right. Now, in the name of Jesus, if you have in your heart right now, if you have on your mind to take your own life, no, no, hold, hold it, hold it right where you are. Don't you do that. Don't take your own life. Give it away. Mm-hmm. Give it to Jesus. Yes, amen. That day I was out hunting a job. Gloria had never heard the term new birth. You know what she said? She said, Lord, take my life and do something with it. Well, he certainly did. Yes. <laughs> and don't, 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 don't do that. Just, just put that thing down. Don't, don't, don't do that. That is not the way out. I don't care how bad things I are. I said I'd never marry a preacher. And she did. She <laughs> married an airplane pilot, turned into one. <laughs> And I want to impress you with this. Jesus said, I am the way. Praise God. And the Lord always has a plan. And there, it's not in his plan that you would take your life. No. It's in his plan to take your life and do something with it. Think about it. If you take your life, it's still murder. You just did it to yourself. Yeah. So. But now, on the other hand, a person that is a born again person and get into that kind of pressure, no. Um, now, your, your reward structure is not all that hot, but there's still... And, and I have, I'm reminded again, Kelly reminded of, of me, uh, between broadcast what Brother Hagin said about this because his mother had a complete nervous breakdown mm. and she would try to kill herself. But then later after she came out of that, she did, she said, why son, I'd never do something like that. She didn't even know it. Mm. But he had to watch after her as a little boy to keep her from getting in a, um, a kitchen cabinet and take a knife and kill herself. But she didn't know what she was doing. But even, and he made this statement, you can be sick in your head the same as you can be sick in your stomach. That's right. So minister to people about that. That's not the answer. Mm -hmm. 
This is the answer. Praise and I don't care how bad things are. I don't care how much pain you're in. I don't care. You just, you take the name of Jesus and you plead the blood over that thing and you get on your face with, um, now, now, you do what I did to my Bible. All those tabs are healing scriptures. And where you can just sit down and go through those tabs and go through those healing scriptures, beginning with the Genesis 6, 3, the days of man shall be 120 years. And if yeah. you're any less than that, you're too young to die. Amen. And Dad, and, if that's too much, just go to Psalm 23. Yes. Just read it. And the read Lord it is my shepherd and I shall I not want. Because that's who he is. He leads me beside still waters and green pastures for his name's sake. And even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil for you're That's with me. Right. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Praise God. My cup runs over. See, so, just get on that twin. That's good. There's not scriptural. No, it isn't. No, it, it's a sin. You get in his presence and the fear just... Goes away. Dissipates. Yeah. And in the name of Jesus, Father, I pray for this person right now, whomever they are. Yes. to hear the word of the Lord. Life is still good. I don't care what the emotional pain is. I don't care what the physical pain is. I don't care what the financial pain is. You stay with life. You stay with life. Jesus said, my words are spirit and they yes. are life in John 6, 63, 64, and 65. Praise God. And remember this. It's never too late. Never too late. As long as you Mom said, her. there is an answer. That's there right. is an answer. It's put in pressure. And he is the answer. He's the answer. And whatever it is, he is. I know a man one time, he told me this. He was in such bad uh, financial condition. He didn't know what to do. And I do, I, I never um, recommend this. I don't like the idea of just... I shut my eyes and opened the Bible and let it fall and said, Joham was 25 years old and he began to reign and he reigned 16 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Josiah and the daughter of Zadok. Well, what in the world does that mean? That means you didn't have any business doing that in the first place. <laughs> but anyway, he said, I just dropped it and then did like this and it said, chapter 11. Oh, okay, I'll file bankruptcy. <laughs> so that's what he did. <laughs> So somebody did that? Yeah, he did that. But I don't recommend He was laughing. He said, Copeland didn't work. But he said, I don't think I'm going to try that again. <laughs> no, no, this is not a Ouija board. And it's, it is the word of the living God. And you can stand on it. You can trust it. And if you're in that kind of situation right now, get over here in the New Testament. And, and like Kelly said, you go from, from, see, we're living in the 23rd Psalm. Yes, amen. And you, 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 but the 91st Psalm, oh, yes. with long life, I'll mm -hmm. satisfy you and show you my salvation. Yes, amen. Long life. He is a God of love. He is love. And he's full of faith and compassion. And, and, and um, he, he is, his whole makeup is grace and to show favors. He's positioned like that. And I've heard Gloria preach and teach healing school for years and years and years and years. And scriptures that, that he, he is, his word will, will add and his commandments will add many years to your life and a life worth living all the way until old right. age, even unto death. And what is death if you know the Lord? Departure. Yeah. Yeah. And you know. Nothing to fear. We, we are not having to get him to talk to us. <coughs> all the Bible says is incline your ear. He knows how to be heard by you. He knows That's how right. to get the message across He's to got you. An he, we just incline our ear. And I had, Kelly, I had this just recently. Tracy Harris, our good friend in Texarkana, oh, a prophet of God. And um, his daughter-in-law and husband really needed a new car. That old car they had, they just really needed one. 
Well, we, Gloria and I had, uh, had a car up there at our prayer cabin. You know, we don't drive it all that much. Well, we had a piece of property that we were uh, about wanting to sell. So Caleb, uh, Kelly's son-in-law, Rachel's husband, knew about that car. And so he called me. And I said, yeah, Caleb, that's great. And so I was thinking about it. What Now, what's that car worth? And uh, I was praying about it. And I thought, Lord, I, I, th that car doesn't have any miles on it much. It's got to be worth a good bit. And, uh, and, and just, I went to work. I went, I went to bed thinking about that. And I just opened my eyes the next morning and I heard the Lord, and the Lord said, what are you thinking about? I said, huh? He said, Did you want to say, I didn't do it. <laughs> he said, what are you thinking about? It's worth more as a seed than it is for a sale. It's the seed for that property you want to sell. I, yes. <laughs> so I said, Gloria. She said, yes. <laughs> and so, and so we, we gave it to him. And then, uh, the, and, the, and then, uh, Rachel t turned her phone on and, and watched it when I sent him uh, the, the title and everything in a large envelope to it. And uh, they had driven the car up there and, and uh, she hadn't seen it yet. And she says, what is this? <laughs> and she opened it up and they said, it's right there. She looked up, she said, oh, you know, I prayed for this. That's kingdom. Gloria and I, by that little word, were able to be God's answer to her prayer. Thank you, Lord. Just by my being able to hear what he said and just by Gloria completely agreeing with that, and the property sold almost immediately. Thank you, wow. Thank you Lord. And we got a new car <laughs> to put up there. <laughs> Just got it. And so, uh, uh, and, and it's it, actually, it's a prettier car than that one. <laughs> Don't tell Trace. But anyway, no, and we have a very close friend there in National, Nashville, Arkansas. Uh, his dad's a good friend of Gloria and mine, and and so, and then, and then he's in the car business. And so we ordered that car through him and I ordered this car through him. And, and it just, we just got it. And what are we doing? I'm, I'm, I'm going to put a couple of thousand miles on it before we take it back up to the prayer cabin. <laughs> That's the way it works. I just heard this. This is kingdom. This is a kingdom statement. When you don't compromise, promises come to everybody. Oh, that's good. Wow, that's when you here. don't compromise it. Compromise. Now, I was about come. to compromise what I know by selling that car to them. No. No, no, no. Now, I never, I never have met his daughter, but Tracy Harris I mean, that young man comes to healing school all the time to help Gloria, to help me. He's been a help to me in, in aviation. He's been a help to me. And, and he's, just, he's just an outstanding young man. Well, he's family. <laughs> so his children are family. And let me, let me advise you this way. Sow a seed. I, I don't care. Now, not right now, you're thinking about the, the word. No, sow a seed. Uh, Copeland, I don't have anything to sow. Yes, you do. Smile. <laughs> you smile. Make a meal. Sow a seed. <laughs> sow a smile. You smile right now, whether you like it or not. <laughs> That's good. Well, I don't want to smile. You smile, I said, and start laughing. Ha, 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 ha. ha, ha. 
I will not kill myself. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. You can't do that very long. You start laughing at yourself. It's the joy of the Lord is your strength. Now, in the name of Jesus, I don't know who you are, and there could very well be more than one of you. Right now, right now, right where you are, you take these words out of your own heart. For the Bible says, if you believe that Jesus raised God, uh, that God raised Jesus from the dead, and you confess him his Lord, as Lord, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart, man believes Thank unto you, righteousness, Lord. and Christ. with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Hallelujah. Now, right now, even if you've already made Jesus the Lord of your life, <clears throat> let's go through this again and, and just let the Spirit of God push you through this very, very, very sad moment in your life. You just pray this, O oh God in heaven. O oh God in heaven. I believe with all my heart. I believe, I believe with all my heart that you raised Jesus from the dead. That you raised Jesus from the dead. Come into my heart, Lord Come Jesus. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Fill me, Fill me with your spirit. With your spirit. I believe it. I believe it. And I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I have received you as my Lord At this Savior. moment, According to your word, according to your word, I'm a new creature in Christ. I'm a new creature in Christ. Old things have passed away. Old things are passed away. In the name of Jesus, I believe this old pain in me right now has passed away. Thank you, Lord. This pain in my heart, this pain in my body, this pain in my mind you, is passed Thank away. You for healing this morning. And all things have become new, and all things are of God. Thank you. Praise God. Now then, fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. And I fully expect to speak in other tongues as you give me utterance, just like they did on the day of Pentecost. Yes, Lord. I will never take my own life. Thank you, Jesus. No, no. Because now my life belongs to someone else. Yes, My life belongs to you, Jesus, and your life belongs to me. Praise God. And I love this in Malachi 4, the sun, S-U-N, of righteousness yes. shall arise with healing yes. in his wings and his beams of light, Praise light God. right now going to you, yes. and you will gamble like a calf, like a young calf. That means jump around and frolic, loosed from a cage, and leap for joy. That's your new life. And we're out of time. time, <laughs> time and, and, and hey, if you accepted Jesus today, right, get online, scratch, out as loud as you can. We want to know about it here at Kenneth Copeland Ministry. We, we want to Praise welcome God. you into the family. Glory Praise to God. God. And we're out of time. Come on, Jeremy. Thank you, Papa. If you prayed with Kenneth and Glory Copeland to receive Jesus into your heart, you've given your life to him, and now he is your Lord, he's your Savior, and you are a part of the family. You're a part of the family of God, and all of heaven, the Bible says, is rejoicing because you came home, and your spirit is born again or born over, and you have a new life that starts today. And we want to help you understand more about what has just happened to you, and that is why KCM is put together some free resources to give to you. We call it the Salvation Package. It includes a book called He Did It All For You by Kenneth and Gloria Copeland. And along with this book, we're going to send you a couple of little brochures that are here to help you learn how to start reading and studying your Bible and finding out the promises that God has made to you in His Word. And these teaching materials will help you grow deeper in your relationship with Jesus as you get to know the one who gave it all for you. To request your Salvation Package, just go to kcm.org. God only says good things over your life. When you think, act, and speak the word for your health, family, and finances, that's what you'll have. But compromising the word of God will inevitably lead to failure. God's Word Final Authority is a CD teaching by Kenneth Copeland that will help you make the decision to never compromise the word again. 
Jesus, the Word in flesh, is your covenant partner. When you understand the covenant rights He bought and paid for you to have, you can take hold of them. He has a good future for you, one of health, mental and emotional wholeness, and financial freedom. Don't compromise and don't quit. Release the power of God's Word as your first and last word in every situation and watch the Word go to work for you. The Word is where your victory starts. Align your heart and words with God's Word to live in His victory and overcoming faith. Request your free copy of Kenneth Copeland's CD series, God's Word Final Authority. Learn to make God's Word final authority in your life and how everything you think, say, or do can agree with God's Word to bring about His promises for you. Go to kcm.org.uk forward slash TV special or call 01-225-787-310. Free offer is good for 30 days. Postage charges may apply. Contact your regional office today. Find something life-giving on kcm.org, your study center for victory. View the Believer's Voice of Victory broadcasts on demand and study along with the daily broadcast notes or download the audio podcasts to listen on the go. Watch prior KCM events for hours with truth going in your eyes and ears wherever you are. Get real help for real life problems. Follow our guide to believe, speak, pray, learn, and apply your way to results from your couch, desk, or kitchen table. Stay focused on truth by reading the devotional from faith to faith every day. Read interactive BVOV magazines and click to unlock more content in each issue. Get a faith boost from testimonies of real life success from people just like you. Find information on what partnership means and take advantage of the resources provided just for you. Read archives of Kenneth Copeland's partner letter and download free books from our bonus library. Over 50 titles available to read on your phone, computer, or e-reader. KCM.org meets you where you are. Brother Copeland has said that every believer has a voice and it is the voice of victory. So whether you were born again today or 20 years ago, you have a voice to share Jesus and how to live a victorious life of faith. And I encourage you today to add more good news to your social media feeds by following Kenneth Copeland Ministries on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, on YouTube, and use these to stay connected to the Word, stay connected to this ministry, and all of it is going to be faith-based content. You're going to be able to read inspiring quotes and read scriptures and watch videos and testimonies. You can join KCM events live. You can keep the Word of God going into your eyes, into your ears. You let the truth get down into your heart so it comes out of your mouth in faith. Amen. Thanks so much for joining us today, everybody. We'll see you again next time. Until then, remember, God loves you and we love you. And Jesus is Lord. Thank you for joining us on the Believer's Voice of Victory. If you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, Kenneth and Gloria Copeland have a gift for you called the Salvation Package. Learn about the new birth and how you can live your new life victoriously in Christ. Email us at partners at kcm.org.uk and receive your free package. Keep your heart full of God's Word and continue to grow in faith. Every believer has a voice, and it is the voice of victory.